Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are back in the Sims Pet Stories, and we're starting the second of the two stories that are included in this small pack game. Uh, so this is actually Stephen Loyal's story. The story is actually called Midnight Masquerade. Stephen Loyal is an accomplished Sim City chef, and we will discuss whether or not he's a chef later, uh, who leads a quiet and ordered life in the desert suburb of Mesa Flats. Now Mesa Flats is in my estimation the prettiest of all the neighborhoods created by Maxis and as I mentioned last time in uh, Alice and Sam's story that both uh, Arbor Falls and Mesa Flats can be moved right into your main game without any acrobatics. Yes you can actually create a massive uh, neighborhood where you attach all of the neighborhood or all of the neighborhoods to like say for instance Pleasant View and that is 100% possible but that does actually require some acrobatics which I'm honestly not interested in doing I might do it someday but it's not what I'm planning on doing anyway Lately, he's been unusually busy, busy getting ready for his cousin's wedding and helping his employer Julianne That's a cute name like Julianne fries Okay, get cater the annual Mesa Flats Midnight Masquerade Ball. Little does Stephen know that his life is about to get turned upside down. So let's find out what happens with Stephen. And of course, we start with the cutscene, which of course I can't do anything about. All right, we're in a kitchen. He has a food processor. I really wish that Sims 4 had the food processor. It increases the value of their food, although I've never had a problem with my Sims starving in Sims 4, so there's that. If anything, I have a hard time getting them staying fit. My first meal in my new kitchen is going to taste so good. All right, there we go, Steven. Okay, what's going on? And is he a chef? If you only have five skills out of 10, you're not a chef because the word chef literally means master, but okay, we'll call you a chef. You're a sous chef, actually, by definition. And the career tracks in this are pretty much identical to the career tracks in Sims 2. And that's not a well-done omelet. So that has to be my boss, Julianne, at the door. I should go see what she wants. Okay. All right. And now let's greet Julianne. Put your burnt omelet down. Julianne needs a makeover. There's nothing wrong with her. She just needs a makeover. All right. Hey, good to see ya. Susu. All right, now she's going to chat with us for a little while. Stephen, you've been doing an absolutely wonderful job for me lately. I want to make you make the salad and the lobster thermidor for the masquer Mesa Masquerade. Wow, Julian, you usually handle those yourself. I'm honored. I also want you to create the ice sculpture for the centerpiece. I get to play with the chainsaw again. You have earned this opportunity, Stephen. See that you do not disappoint me. Goodbye. That's like so, okay, so soon. All right. So now he needs to gain a cooking skill point. He actually needs to gain quite a lot. He is a knowledge sim and in the main game he would get better points for this, but yeah, okay. Oh, and here, Steven, buddy pal, a lifelong friend. Well, if it isn't the happiest cop in Mesa Flats, what are you, why are you panting? Are you on a case? A couple, a con man, might have set up shop here and there's also a missing person missing person in mesa flats small bedroom community who would have thunk it yes you you i just ran over from your cousin's celeste wedding my cousin's wedding is today oh i'm in trouble yes you are now get ready and get to the chapel celeste had already started walking down the aisle when i left i have to get dressed now okay so he has to put on formal wear okay so I got him changed into the formal. I also gave him a little bit of a makeover to give him a more polished look. And now we have to call the taxi to go to the wedding. So let's go ahead and go to community. And just Stephen, because nobody else lives in the house, the taxi will be by shortly to pick us up. Yeah, take a pee. That's a good idea. And he needs two friends for his next promotion. The A little salmon wedding chapel. 
And even if you don't want to add the entire neighborhood, I added the neighborhood and then uh, pulled out all of the community lots and most of them work in the main game and it makes Strange Town look so much better. Strange Town just is more functional with the community lots from Mesa Flats. I mean, the community lots for Strange Town are actually kind of crappy. Not gonna lie. I mean, I love Strange Town. I think Strange Town of the three main neighborhoods in Sims 2 are, it has the best lore, it has the best story, but the community builds are crap. Okay, we'll see you in a second, Stephen. Okay, so Stephen. Oh my, I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Okay, there's Celeste, and they're finishing up the I do's. Woohoo, woohoo! All right, well, you made it in time. I just missed my cousin Celeste's wedding. I have to apologize to her. Yeah, you better apologize. And it's funny because the apologize to Celeste has the woohoo up, the woohoo icon. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly what you want to do. I hope she isn't too angry with me. Okay, so you pick her and apologize. Yes, you damn darn well better apologize to your cousin. So sorry, Celeste. Oh, we're best friends now. I guess we're forgiven. Okay. I'm not married. Celeste, I'm lost track of time, really. It's no wonder you aren't married yet. I'm not married because I'm focusing on my work. It's a choice. Steven, glad you made it at all. I'm surprised you didn't cater this event for Celeste. I'm surprised you didn't either. Celeste used to take me to your restaurant all the time when we were younger. Now, this is a restaurant tour, and we'll see him later. Uh, Sal Zugovich. Okay, Rachel is here, and now we're focusing on James Briggs, who is our BFF as far as I know. Let's see. Yep, James is... Okay, looks like my buddy James found the buffet. I should grab a plate and join him. Okay, so now we click the buffet, and how hungry is he? Yeah, he could eat. Let's just have a salad. He couldn't... In Sims 2, the various foods have different quality, whereas in Sims 4, I haven't noticed a, a huge issue. Okay, did that drop out of your queue, Stephen? Oh, um, we don't want to listen to a... That's a mail carrier. She wants to tell you a joke. Actually, no, we just want to have a salad. Have a salad. All right, thank you. Tracy Kamakos. Okay, hey James, who is that guy over there? I haven't seen him before. That's Gordon Fetching. He's a good looking guy. The guy with the lantern jaw, that's Gordon Fetching. I think he knows the groom. He just moved to town, so okay. there's something a little creepy about Jordan, but it doesn't hurt to be polite. I'll go introduce myself to him. Okay, well, where did Gordon go? All right, where'd he go? Where'd you go, Gordon? Uh, no. Okay, there he is, right there. Okay, let's go Great Gordon Fetching. Come on, Stephen. Oh, nice, you're bussing tables. That's great, but you didn't greet Gordon. We need to, oh, he's, he's doing that. He's doing him. I don't know where I should, okay. Okay, that fell out of queue. Come on, Steven. This was not a suggestion. It was a command. All right. Hello, Gordon. My name is Steven Loyal. I'm Celeste's cousin. Ah, Celeste, Celeste, late cousin, Steven, late cousin. Sorry, friend. It was just a little joke. Excuse me. Who would invite him to a wedding? What a jerk. Who is that? Maybe a dance could be fun. What does Celeste know anyway? Okay, so let's actually... Uh, okay, so we're going to dance with Rachel. Okay, let's see. Dance together. Yeah, let's start dancing with somebody we've never met before. Go ahead, Steven. This is going great. I wonder if she'd want to go out with me sometime. Wow, okay, you just met her. I mean, way to really assume the sale there, Steven. Okay, and ask Rachel out. Okay, ask on a date. 
hey, you want to go out on a date? I really enjoyed dancing with you. Would you like to do it again tomorrow night? I'm sorry I have plans with Gordon. Maybe another time? Okay, now I see what James meant by kiss the ladies goodbye. Okay, I missed that in the script. Stephen, looks like my friend Aaron won't be able to take care of my cat while Damien and I are on our honeymoon. Oh, no, are, are you going to cancel? Stephen, I'm not going to cancel my honeymoon. I need you to watch Diva for me. I'm making the food for Midnight Masquerade this year, and I, it needs all my attention. I can't have an animal loose in the house. Please, you owe me one. Okay, just a couple of days. We've got open-ended tickets, Stephen. Thanks, you're the best. Okay, it's been a blast, but it's time to go. Let's go home. Okay. Okay, so she's chatting with us for a second. No. I still want to go home. Where? Home. Okay, the... We'll be by shortly to pick you up. We'll see you soon, Stephen. Thanks. Okay, we're receiving some kind of a package. Hi. Delivery for Mr. Loyal. We go ra. Hey, my new aquarium arrived. I should figure out where to put this and get some fish for it. That's a great idea, Stephen. So let's place the aquarium. All right, and set up the aquarium and stock it with fish. 200 aspiration. Let's see, is it? Should be here. Let's go ahead and stick it right here. Of course, I can't use move objects on in the pet stories until you've completed it and you're in free play. That is a good looking aquarium. I think I said in the last time that most of the objects that are unique to pet stories have been made available for download by Jay Pescado, which is great. Okay, so that's and now let's restock. Okay, you don't need to lounge. All right. And he needs a cooking skill point, and he actually needs one more friend, okay? Uh, but now we are on me time, which means I'm in control of what he's doing. I don't have enough uh, points to buy an energizer, so I better just take care of his needs, and I'll see you soon. So the pop-up happened. I missed most of my favorite cousin's wedding because I overslept, met the new guy in town, got rejected for a date, and agreed to take care of my cousin's cat while she's on her honeymoon. I'm told that some of the people have dull eyes in Mesa Flats, but I'm not one of them. Okay, so this is Celeste kissing her new husband, Celeste giving him a piece of her mind, uh, meeting the new guy in town, dancing with Rachel and enjoying our new aquarium. Okay, thanks. We'll see you soon, Stephen. So I got his needs taken care of, but Stephen actually doesn't have everything he needs for a promotion. Sorry, my cat likes to do what she needs to do, but of course that's cats. All right. And so Stephen doesn't have everything he needs. He has a good work performance, but he doesn't have enough friends, so he will not be bringing home a promotion today. We'll see when he gets back. Fortunately for Stephen, he has no no uh, need for money, so we'll just do whatever he needs to do. But uh, let's go ahead and work on that cooking skill. I think it's time to catch up with the world, or at least Mesa Flats. Now, where's that paper? Usually on the front walkway, Stephen. Just that's where it usually is. Okay, let's find it. There it is, right where it always is. And so we're supposed to what, read? Just read the paper, okay. Which is something I pretty much never do. Okay, up and coming local chef's dishes are to be the highlight of annual masquerade. Wow, Jillian gets the word out quick. All right, so please wait. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, let's continue to watch TV. And oh, there's somebody, Aaron Davis. Okay, let's go greet Aaron. Greet Aaron Davis. Okay, there's a girl outside who seems to be lost. What makes you think she's lost? She's just out for a walk. That was rude, Stephen. Okay, I should go see if I can help her out. Mansplaining, mansplaining. Hi there, I'm looking for Stephen Loyal. I have to drop off his cousin's cat. Daisy? I know, please. 
Okay, here. Why don't you join? There we go. Get back there. Okay. Um, I'm looking for Stephen Loyal. I have to drop off his cousin's cat. Celeste didn't say her friend Aaron was so cute. I guess I should be as charming as possible. All right. Good job, Stephen. Oh, you got three bolts of attraction to her and only one bolt of attraction to Rachel. Okay. That's good to know. Hey, Daisy. Okay. She's licking me. I know, Daisy. Life is so terrible for you. Okay. So let's charm Aaron. All right. That would be under flirt and charm. Okay, it doesn't require a bolt. That means that it will be accepted. The bolts don't require, bolts mean that even with the, a lower relationship, they have a chance to be accepted. Oh, see, look, she's, I'm Steven. So were you going to watch Diva for Celeste? I'd have loved to, but my dog Buster isn't too bright and keeps trying to use her as a pillow. I should explain to Diva that I'm going to be taking care of her now. Okay, so let's take the cat. All right, where is the cat? I saw her. There she is. All right, and take care of Diva. Okay, I'm working on a painting, so I can't stay for very long, but sure, my name is Aaron. Oh, would you care for some espresso? Yeah. My name is Aaron, by the way. I'll make some espresso for Aaron and myself. Okay, so let's go over here to the espresso maker. There's our, okay, there it is. And serve espresso is more than one. Okay, and also, actually, before we do that, I'm going to clean that up because that's gross and runs the risk of, you know. Oh. Okay, what are we, we're looking at, Diva. Oh, Diva, naughty girl. Diva scratching up my favorite couch, what's your, yeah, okay, okay. All right, so we are going to scold for destroying the furniture. Okay, all right, on with it. Okay, okay, back to, we're just going to continue chatting. Nothing happened. Where's the cat? Oh, she came here to be scolded. Okay, well, oh, this is awkward. Okay, scold for destroying the furniture. Uh, they can actually, okay, why is it dropping out of queue? Where'd the cat go? All right, we still need to, oh, okay, now we're going to scold her for yelling. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we, okay, we tried to scold her and it dropped out of queue and now I don't have anything to scold her for. Wow, you have a way with animals. Trust me, I'm just getting familiar here. I used to be a veterinarian. She used to be a veterinarian. Spent a lot of money to become a veterinarian. Now she's a starving artist. Good job, Erin. Okay. You're allowed to actually pursue art and veterinary science at the same time. It's okay. You're allowed to do that. But now I don't have anything I can scold her for because the two scolds dropped out of queue. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it counted. Here's Diva's food dish. I really have to get back to work on my painting. It was nice meeting you. Okay. And, all right, let's just get back to scolding her for destroying the furniture. I should place this and fill it. Hopefully some food will calm her down. Okay, good. Okay. And we are going to place it. It should be right here in our inventory. Oh, hold it. That's where the phone is. And there is no move objects on. Let's actually put it right here in the kitchen. That's a cute dish. That's not available in the main game. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. And fill the bowl. Okay, Stephen, good job. And now start making a meal that is clearly below your or above your skill level, it looks like. I'll have to teach Diva to stay off the furniture. Okay, that's fine. And shoe Diva. All right, well, we'll finish the meal first. That way we don't start a fire. Culinary skills abound. Yay. Okay. 
Well, are you hungry? Yeah, actually you are. Let's eat that. All right, and he hit that. Now we're gonna save that because he is actually a knowledge sim. Get some hygiene up. And where's our diva? Shoe diva. Okay, so we'll shoe her from that furniture. All right, so I met my cousin's friend Aaron today. So far, Diva has tried to take over my house and destroy my favorite couch. This isn't what I had in mind when I said I needed a woman in my life. Okay, so here's the thing about cats is dogs are pets. Cats move in with you. And those of us who have cats accept this as truth. They are roommates. Okay. Okay, so we're meeting Erin, having some espresso with her, and Diva is destroying the furniture. Okay, great. And now some me time. So, like Sam, who kept destroying things after he was fully trained as far as not destroying things, Diva is still destroying things, but she's supposed to be respectful, so that's a problem. Hopefully, of course, once you're back in the game, it will be fine. But, okay, so he's got everything he needs. His work performance is up. That cup of espresso that he shared with Aaron basically uh, got our friendship up. So he's got everything he needs. Okay, and now we're just going to watch some TV, which is set to watch the cooking channel. I did call the maid because, yeah, I've got too much to do. And he's got plenty of money so he can afford to pay a maid to do the basic things. All right, Stephen, have a good day. We'll see you soon. Okay, good job, Stephen. You've been promoted to executive chef. You're still not technically a chef with only six points of skill. But finally recognized for your creative gifts, you've been given control of your restaurant's menu in order to create completely new and exciting dishes like cuisine food or fusion fusion cuisine. That's where I'm going with that. It's a dream come true, but you're already dreaming of more. Keep challenging yourself as you work towards a new prize, a franchise of your own. He now works from 9 to 3, and he brought home 12.08 with a bonus of 24.16. Okay, so he would like one skill as well as a cooking skill. So that's easy enough. And let's see, where does he stand as far as, nope, still can't. Okay, so that means back to the TV. Okay, Gordon meets Steven. Gordon meet Diva, okay. How can I cook with a cat peeing in my kitchen? Yes, well, okay, that's true, that's disgusting. Mop up the pee, all right. Obviously, I need more pet care supplies. I should go to the pet store. Diva needs a litter box. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, this, of course, normally we would be able to get through the buy mode, but the story demands that we get it at the pet store. Probably should have changed him out of the chef clothes, but okay. So now he's got to buy a litter box. And come over here. There's a litter box on display. And just buy it. Oh, cutscene. That litter box looks just like it'll do the job. Thank you. And there's Gordon. And a repair girl. Oh. Oh, is that Aaron? I think it might be, actually. Wearing... Oh, there we go. He charmed her. She's got a crush. Oh, there's Diva. She followed us. Unbelievable. Who owns this mangy fur bag? Her name is Diva, and I think she's adorable. Listen, just keep that thing away from me, and while you're at it, stay away from Rachel. I saw you gawking at her. She's mine. This cat is amazing. I should stroke G Diva to reward her for her good behavior. Okay, where's Diva? All right, there she is. Okay, we are going to actually, we're not going to praise her for that, but we will stroke her. Okay, Diva and I should get the this litter box home. Okay, go on home, Stephen. 
So he gets home and he says, it's been a while since James and I watched TV together. So uh, click the TV and select watch and then James and ask to. Okay, where is James? Is he anywhere? He should be on the lot. I'm not seeing him. There's Diva sitting on the counter. Uh, for the record, my cats are non -count, are count trained to not sit on the counter. I don't see where James is. There he is. Okay, there we go. And then he's watching TV. It should actually... Oh, hold it. He needs to watch TV first. And then ask James to join should be the next option. Okay, well, now James is watching TV. Join. Okay, there we go. All right. That didn't work out quite nicely, but... Okay, how are things in the Mesa Flats Police Department? Just how I like them. Boring as always. In other words, a con man... In other news, a con man was discovered operating in Arbor Falls last week. It's believed that he may have moved on to the Mesa Flats area. Okay, Arbor Falls. Yeah, that's where Riley's story happens. Uh, fun fact is... Wait, Arbor Falls. No, that's where Alice and Sam's story happens. Okay. All right. I wish things were quiet for me, but between Diva wrecking my house and Gordon messing up my love life, I've been coming up short all around. Must be strange to be out of the spotlight, huh? That Gordon must be a smooth operator. Okay, well, let's join. No, no, let's join. We're... Okay. I should check my email. All right. That's actually... You were right there on the computer. Okay, check email. Okay, Stephen, please let me know how the dishes are coming for the masquerade ball. Julianne. Okay. Hey, Stephen, just a couple of things. Don't forget to pick up a litter box for Diva. Got it. Thanks for sending it over. And I found a cat condo that I thought she would love, and it's on its way to you. It might save some of your furniture. Celeste. Okay. And speaking of the litter box, we should actually go ahead and place it. I think litter boxes belong in a bathroom. There we go. Okay, because we eat in the kitchen. That's where the food dish should be. We poop in the bathroom. That's where the litter box should be. There's reasons for what I do. Yes. Okay. All right. That's done. I never check email in the main game. I really don't. All right. Diva, what are you doing? And she's got his last name. Oh. Here comes that here comes that delivery agent. Go get that cat condo. Thanks. All right, now we have to I should set up the cat condo in the litter box. So oh, I already did the litter box, but okay, so let's do the cat condo, which is right here. It's a really nice cat condo and one thing is I can't move anything in this build. Well, I can move some things. I can't move the phone so I have to make sure that I don't mess that up but there that's a good spot for the cat condo all right so she can survey her kingdom from the cat condo because that's what cats do yes that is what cats do all right and I ran into Gordon again, and the guy just rubs me the wrong way diva chased after him which made me laugh Celeste made me sent me a cat condo and I bought a litter box. Now Diva should be hap a happy kitty. Uh, so much for my bachelor pad. It's actually a pretty nice bachelor pad. This is actually a really nice home. It's more than starter. I mean, it's not grand, but it's more than starter. So here he is cleaning up the pee in the kitchen because he didn't think ahead of time to get the litter box and actually neither did I. And Diva's chasing Gordon. James and Stephen are just having a same discussion. Natively, they have the same haircut. Of course, I gave Stephen a makeover, and so he's much more handsome now. And there's Stephen checking his email. And we're sitting at 30 minutes right now, so I'm going to call it good, and we will continue Stephen's story at a later date. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.